Hey streamers, welcome back to Streamer's Guide. Let's start with something that sounds simple, but honestly frustrates almost everyone right now. And that's trying to figure out where a movie or TV show is actually streaming. Not whether it exists, not whether it's good, but where it's available today, right now, without opening five different apps and hoping you get lucky. Because what usually happens is you sit down ready to watch something, you open Netflix first because that's what most people do, you scroll for a bit, nothing really jumps out, then you jump to Prime Video, then Disney+, Plus, then maybe a free app like Pluto TV or Tubi, and before you know it, you've spent more time browsing than you would have spent watching the actual movie. That's not a content problem. It's a discovery problem, and that's exactly what we're fixing today. It works on pretty much every device you own, including TVs, streaming devices, and even straight from a web browser. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find where any new movie or TV show is streaming, whether it's included with a subscription, available for free, or only available as a rental, using one app that quietly does all the searching for you, and that app is Just Watch. And before we get into it, hit like if this saves you time, subscribe for more guides like this, and let's get started. So when you open Just Watch for the first time, the first thing you'll notice is how low friction it is. There's no forced account creation, no email wall, no sign up required just to use it. You can create a free account later if you want to save watch lists or sync across devices. But for everyday use, you can skip that entirely and jump straight in. The most important part of the setup happens right at the beginning, and that's choosing your streaming services. This step might seem basic, but it's actually what makes Just Watch smart instead of overwhelming. You're basically telling the app, these are the platforms I care about, these are the ones I actually use. This part is more important than it looks because the services you select here control everything you'll see later. If you skip a service, Just Watch won't magically guess it. If you add free apps here, they'll show up right next to paid content. So taking an extra 20 seconds here saves you a lot of time every time you use the app after. So you select things like Netflix, Prime Video, Disney+, Plus, Apple TV+, Plus, Max, Peacock, Paramount+, Plus. and at the same time, you can select free services like Freevee, Tubi, Pluto TV, and others. What's nice here is that Just Watch doesn't treat free services as second-class options. They're mixed in naturally with everything else. Once that's done and you land on the home screen, the experience immediately feels different from traditional streaming apps. You're no longer locked into one platform's algorithm. You're now looking at what's popular, trending, and newly released across multiple services at the same time. Instead of asking yourself what Netflix has today, you're asking a much better question what's actually worth watching right now. As you scroll, you'll see movies and shows that are trending this week, titles that just landed on streaming, and content that people are actively watching across platforms. And the key thing is, Everything you see is available somewhere within the services you selected earlier. Now let's make this practical with real examples, because this is where Just Watch really proves its value. Let's say you heard about a new movie like Predator, Badlands, maybe you saw a trailer, maybe someone mentioned it online, maybe you're just curious because it's part of a big franchise. Normally, you'd start guessing. Is it on Prime Video? Is it on Apple TV? Did it already move to streaming? Instead, you open Just Watch, type in Predator, Badlands, and within seconds, you get a clean, direct answer. You see exactly which platforms have it available, whether it's included with a subscription or available as a rental, and you can compare options without opening a single streaming app. That alone saves you time, but it also removes frustration because you're no longer chasing content across apps, hoping to find it. Think about how you used to do this. You'd open Netflix first, then Prime Video, then maybe Google it, then still end up unsure. Now it's one search, one answer, and you're done. That's the real time saver here. Now let's switch to TV shows because this is where things usually get even messier. New seasons drop, exclusives move platforms, and people constantly ask, where is this show streaming now? So let's take a recent example like The Traders. You type it into Just Watch and immediately it tells you which service is carrying the current season. Same thing with shows like The Pit or newer Netflix releases that everyone's talking about this week. 
you don't have to remember which platform owns what. Just Watch remembers for you, and when you tap Watch Now, something important happens that a lot of people overlook. Just Watch doesn't just open the streaming app, it takes you directly to the show or the episode. You're not dumped back on a home screen. You're not searching again. You go straight to the content, and that sounds like a small thing, but over time, it completely changes how smooth streaming feels. Another area where Just Watch really shines is free content, and this is something most people underestimate. There's a lot of genuinely good free content available right now, but because it's spread across multiple apps, people rarely see it unless they're already inside those platforms. Just Watch solves that by putting free movies and shows right next to premium ones during browsing and search. So you might be scrolling and suddenly realize that something you were about to rent is actually available for free on another service you already have installed. A lot of people assume this is only useful if you have a bunch of subscriptions, but that's not true at all. Just Watch doesn't favor paid services. Free content shows up the same way in the same lists during the same searches. So sometimes you'll discover something you were about to rent is actually free on a service you already have installed. That alone can save you money without you actively trying to save money. Now let's talk about filters because this is where Just Watch becomes more than just a search tool. Let's say you're in the mood for something specific. Maybe you want a new action movie. Maybe you only want content from the last year or maybe you only wanna see what's free tonight. You can apply those filters and instantly narrow things down. No endless scrolling, no algorithm guessing your mood wrong, just clean direct results based on what you actually want to watch. And something else that's incredibly useful is how Just Watch handles availability changes. Movies move between platforms all the time, shows expire, new titles arrive quietly without much promotion. Just Watch updates constantly, so when something becomes available or is about to leave a service, you see that reflected in search and browsing. That means you're less likely to miss something you wanted to watch just because it moved platforms. Over time, what ends up happening is you stop opening streaming apps first. Instead, you open Just Watch first. You decide what you want to watch, and then you let Just Watch take you there. That single habit shift removes most of the friction people associate with streaming. And that's really the takeaway here. Just Watch doesn't add complexity. It removes it. It doesn't replace your streaming apps. It organizes them. So whether you're juggling multiple subscriptions, relying mostly on free streaming services, or just tired of wasting time scrolling, this is one of those apps that quietly becomes essential once you start using it. If this deep dive helped you stream smarter, hit the like button, it really does help the channel. Make sure you're subscribed for more long form streaming guides, fixes, and walkthroughs like this. And as always, remote in hand. I'll catch you in the next one.